So hello everyone and welcome back to Frostpunk where our group is of course exploring to the village here the sturdy, sturdy shelter relatively soon hopefully getting there safely at least there doesn't seem to be dangerous there but um, then we also of course are having everyone here working on the cold humber and um, I was also looking a little bit while I was looking into continuing this game, I looked that I would probably, if we went into the bunk house and house, this would probably be, be better buildings for us to live in with better insulation to begin with. So I would love to be able to get into here as well as soon as possible. But let's just at least see how these resource things would exactly work too by getting the cold humber. So I think that is nonetheless a nice thing. I don't know if we necessarily need more scouts. So I don't think that is the most important thing. These of course would be great. Um, yes, they would be great. But the problem is that they will require quite a lot of coal to upkeep. And we don't have a lot of coal to do that upkeeping with. Not sure how all of these advanced heaters and so on would be working, but uh, yeah. Generator safety bypass, generator power upgrading. These would be of course great. Generator power upgrades. So of course that actually is something that I'm now looking at. Hmm, maybe I should be going actually and getting this so that we could get a first level of a generator power upgrade. That would sound pretty good though. It's something I could state. At least we are getting a relatively nice amount of resources and uh, they are definitely working here. Okay, nice. We got that. I paused. We'll see what we exactly will be able to have. Or what we exactly should be doing next. Uh, maybe I will do this. Because of that actually. 50 wood is quite a lot. But generator power upgrade I think sounds really good. So let's just try to see if we go into that. And at least we have enough wood for now. That is. Of course we'll see if how it exactly will be in the future. But for the moment that is. So that's shelter house cold humber so indeed that just tells how it is we can't so to speak build it anywhere but get hmm. building here will block place for important facility i wonder if this is still something that sort of should be connected to that i'm not sure how this would be then working as soon as there is some coal or at least i would assume those are coal yeah, coal deposits. So I would think that should be pretty close to T's. Maybe we should try to go and build it. It would be probably nice for getting coal a little bit more efficiently. Of course, the closer we would be to it would probably be a good idea too. But on the other hand, if we build into here, we are relatively close to that spot. So maybe I should do it here. Let's see how it would work, I guess, is the thing. I didn't even properly look how much it's... Actually, it's pretty cheap to build. So yeah, that's fine by me. And then just build a little bit more of that road, I'd say. So that will be still pretty nice. A lot of them going and starting to build this. Let's just go to the very fast. Steel wreckage is depleted, so yes. Those are of course obviously now a problem when they are getting depleted. Let's then just get some more to work here at least. And I guess here we would need to have the sawmill and then I guess, was it here somewhere? Yeah, iron ore deposit was over there. So there we would then have the iron ore uh, properly to be able to be salvaged. Let's just get this place to then work as well. Yeah, sure. So we have um, 11 more available engineers, of course, but we are getting steel from here and wood from here for now. But we definitely need to also take care of actually trying to get into this resource and starting the steel 
gathering operation from there, I'd say. And Cobalt depleted, which is not too big of a surprise. But now we do have this. It is chilly, so it's definitely not perfect. But we can work there, so... I guess we will be trying this out. How this will be exactly working. Do, does it require this, or how does this work? Coal dumper will produce coal pile. And then I guess some will still be going into test coal and uh, try to be bringing resources from there. As it is. We have uh, a lot of sick people and of course some homeless. But otherwise decent. Okay, exploration. Scouts have raised a sturdy shelter. Oh, and about coal dumpers. Good. Actually now knowing more about it. So coal dumpers was coal from cracks in the rock to the surface. You can order people to gather the coal from the pile directly or employ them in catering posts. More than one catering post might be needed to collect all the coal efficiently. Um, place them so that the coal dumper piles are in range. So I would need the catering post somehow, but I'm not exactly sure yet how this means. So we'll see. Let's see about the catering post anyways. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood grates and steel wreckages. But there's no such things yet, are there exactly? Like, yeah, if there's that, but I don't know. It's kind of strange, in a sense, I'd say. Hmm. Some of these, of course, can just be peeled all the way a little bit further up. So that is also a coal pile, and that is a coal pile. So I guess I could try to build it over into here and see how that would work out. Then the catering post, in that sense, and maybe we'll just delete it in the future. Maybe a little bit more towards here. I guess I'll try. I'm not sure exactly how this would mean. Like, this area should be in range of it. As sus. But, uh, yeah, not quite sure. Not quite sure about this, but I guess we'll just... I'll have to explore and see how this exactly will be working. After all, then just get this over here and uh, like that, and maybe a little bit like that too. But anyways, exploration as well. So explore the shelter, is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Search might provide wood, food rations and steam cores. Explore. Sturdy shelter. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. The snow is posted by the heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartmaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Sites discovered, a seal, a bridge. Ooh, a pretty nice amount of resources though. So I'm happy with that resource amount that we're gaining. The question is, do we want to be returning home from that or not? Ooh, read journal. New scouts report, sure. Day 7 from arrival. Yeah, it's just about this place. Alrighty. I guess we should try to go into here. Though, it's relatively close by anyway, so I guess we should, nonetheless, go and visit there, I hope. Sure, we would be able to use those rations and everything here too, immediately even, but I think for the moment it's fine. I think, hope, <laughs> hope anyways. Drawing boards, research, yes, good. Then we can have a look 
if there is something like the generator power upgrade level one, what does it exactly do for us? Allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Note, the coal consumption is double when this setting is in use. Mm. Well, it's good, but it's a little bit dangerous. Generator range upgrade, what about that then? Allows us to turn up the generator range setting and extend its heat zone. Note, the coal used by the generator is doubled when the setting is in use. Yeah, all of this is dangerous, but probably something we should still get one of these at least. Just so that we can um, generator efficiency upgrade could be nice to, of course, steam hop range on the other hand. But uh, yeah, probably one of these is still a good idea to go and research so that if we get into a very cold temperature, we can then turn this up and so on and forth. However, of course, it's a question, is that really the most important thing to do now? Ah, okay, that's actually good news, that when we just ex research the drawing boards in one, it actually means that we have researched it everywhere, so we can immediately do any of the second level things, so that's actually very good, and I guess this is the thing that I was exactly thinking about when I was looking into the spots that we could be working on, as in there was the coal area that we could be then mining coal but how is it different from the coal tumbler? I am not quite sure about this, I don't understand what does this then do? okay, resource deposits will be able to store 50% more resources it's good at some point what about this? allows us to build cargo kilns Uses intense heat to shore up the 70 foot per standard workday, producing 210 coal. That's pretty good. As sauce for getting coal, but the first I do have to even be just sure that I will have enough wood to be able to make this coal this way. On the other hand, allows us to build sawmills, turns frozen trees into usable material, producing up to 80 wood per standard workday is pretty important, I'd say from deep deposits and process it to deliver up to 40 per standard workday. Um, I don't know how far the possible mining of iron would be. Is there a mining, coal mining? Yes, but there was those iron deposits, but does it just mean steel works? Because coal tumbler wasn't exactly what I was thinking it to be. What about the wall trail? Allows us to build wall trails. Trails into the walls of our crater, uncovering trees that once formed a forest before the ice engulfed them, provides up to 160 foot per standard workday. Interesting. Hmm. What about this then? Uh, allows us to build hot houses. A few hardy crops can be grown here, up supplying up to 30 raw wood per day. That sounds very good. Of course, I would probably need to have it relatively close to the center, all things considering. I think the hunter, I suppose, really wouldn't need to be that close to the center, but I unfortunately already built them there. I don't know if I should be maybe destroying them and moving them a little bit further away and not having them that close. Infirmary would be here, which would also be very good to get. Thanks to improved tools and methods, people employed in medical posts will heal the sick 10% faster. Would be nice too. And then the punk house. Allows us to build punk houses. A dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. Would be good, of course, in a sense, of course. <laughs> Not just a little bit. So that they would be staying healthier. What about... This just allows us to deploy an additional scout team at the beacon, raising the limit to two. I don't feel it's that necessary, at least for the moment. How much does this then cost? That does cost quite a little bit more. I think the sawmill is probably something that I need to get. Because we are gonna be running out of the wood grades, and then we need to be able to use all of these forests. And, uh, yeah. If we don't, then we're gonna be running out of this, and steel, and everything, so... So, 
People will work for the next 24 hours, school down, two days. So yeah, of course that is a little bit chilly, that's no surprises there. Of course. The shot shelter I will not be moving anywhere, but I am thinking about these hunter's huts. That I might like to move them a little bit. It's kind of strange when it always uh, says, hey hunters, when I'm putting into hunter spots. Uh, what's going on? Okay, yeah. More sick beds needed. Healthcare problems. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising numbers of untreated sick. They're asking you to address the problem. So, you'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. Or I wouldn't be addressing it at all. Or I will open a new medical post. You'll have three days to build it. I could probably go and build one new medical post pretty easily. Especially if I move these hunter swatches. Which I might indeed like to do. Sure. I'm not gonna be moving this certainly though before it has been able to at least get some more raw wood for us into here. But it shouldn't matter that they would be a little bit further up on this area. They don't have to be in the very closest area, I'd say. So. They are bringing some more food soon enough, and then we can go and work on that. Illness and healthcare. Did I see it already? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. It's just always noting on that. So, when we get this at least, then we are gonna be going and seeing about moving this. I'd say... Yeah. Open the new medical post is the... Sort of optional. Get a move on, chaps. There's still plenty of work to do. I've got to hold on. People are depending on me. Yes. Okay. Dismantle it quickly. And uh, after we just get this research done, then we will do the one punk house, I think it was. The farming or the type of thing. And maybe build one of those very close up. We'll see exactly how close we can be building it. But anyways, pretty close as close as we can. Also probably should already be then building the new hunters lodge though. And uh, I can build it right here actually next to this uh, hunters lodge after all so let's do that. I'm not sure if I want to be building it here considering the space it would require. Might build it just a little bit further there. It's completely of course the question. Where would I wish to be building this? Maybe I should be building here. It would be okay enough at least. Not perfect, I'd say, but it's an okay spot to build it in. Yeah, okay. So this is also now then done. So we can actually also destroy that one. Wood grades is depleted again. Which is not, of course, really something I would like to hear, but... So it is the case anyways. But yeah, these have uh, good heating anyways. Livable. Livable. Totally fine. Catherine Post is of course very much chilly. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how this will be working. But I guess this will be bringing us the coal from these areas. And I'm not sure how it works with this. But I guess that will do with that. So we still have some steel wreckage, but we definitely don't have really a lot of the other resources laying around in here other than coal piles. So coal we can easily still get, but we are pretty much running out of any of the other resources. The sawmill is extremely important to get for a certainty. Sawmill resource is very good. Build a sawmill near frozen trees to start cutting them down for wood. Yes. And then I would... To be honest, I think I need something like the steelworks too, but... Let's try to get the hothouse first. Nonetheless, I'd say... I have a decent amount of steel for the moment, that is. Okay, this doesn't tell us exactly about the sawmill yet. But yes, so meal. 
Okay, so this would probably be a pretty good area to have one in. Somewhere all the way over here. Not sure what that spot is. I guess into that. Like, uh, into our crater. This probably would be even better location into there. Yeah, let's just get it somewhere around here, the sawmill. Just a question, should I have it closer in here or should I just go on ahead and uh, build it really far into here? Like, having it here would be pretty nice, I think, nonetheless. It could be pretty much using all of the trees right here. Sure, I'm uh, slightly on top of the trees too, but let's see if this would be okay. But of course we do need the street in the there too. So that is one obvious thing that we need to be going and uh, getting built. Let's just get it done like this, I think. Oh, and you guys are waiting. I didn't even notice to look at that. A brass plague on the bridge tower reigns, built by the people of Winterholm in AD 1887. Their bridge is kept completely snow-free by the working out maiden. Sweet. Explore. Okay, took a while <laughs> for that to actually go and work. Pretty nice looking bridge and the auto maiden. A functional auto maiden at the bridge of the bridge's winter home. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge auto maiden sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for our resources. So, weather station, large convoy places also discovered. The automaton will safely reach our city on its own. Or, of course, we could dismantle it. But I think I like the idea of having it in our city if we don't leave it here to be making sure that this bridge is clear. So, fine, if we wish to be anyways either removing it one way or another, let's rather send it to our city. Automaton sent to the city. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city, the worst piece of snow started to settle on the bridge. Not too surprising then. The question just is, it's traveling there in one day and 18 hours. Of course, not really taking anything else than itself. We probably could also go and actually go home with this Better station and a large convoy. What is this place? We can see people moving between them and smoke rising from a camp boy, a campfire. Maybe we should go and try to visit here still, and then go home with the exploration party. Sure. Let's do that, and after that, home. For sure. A little bit of a. <laughs> Thinking sometimes, maybe because there was an event. Okay, desserts for other cities. Deserted bridge. Finding a bridge to winter home proved that we are on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in winter home. Oh, hopeful slightly. That is unfortunate, but we are otherwise fine. It's, we're doing okay, even if we don't know if where the others would be, right? Oh, you don't have to actually, you don't have the street connection yet. I thought that you would, considering this street is moving here, but apparently not well enough, which is okay, I guess. Let's at least go to the slightly faster speed. This is of course going to be important to get set up. More than a little bit. Sure, it's going to be cold out here, but at least it's in a very nice location here, I'd say, still. Actually, try to go and get some locks for us, pretty nicely. 
We are very low on wood, so this was definitely needed. Steel Brigade is also depleted. Area effects? Okay. Like it so slowly is uh, teaching this. There are two types of buildings with area effects. Some buildings, like sawmill, have an area from which the resources can be gathered, and some others, uh, the area in which they can affect people. House of prayer or places, field kitchen, and so on and forth. Okay. In which resources can be gathered, yes, and the house of priority area effect shows the area in which influence will be exerted. Alrighty. But this, of course, definitely will be fully housed. There's plenty of trees, but it's, of course, relatively silly, but it's not actually nearly that bad. Chile isn't nearly that bad as I would think when they are working just on these sort of places. Yeah, these are like really gold. After all, that is a building, so it's way better, nonetheless. Let's see, what's happening? Heating problems with the gold homes still, yes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's east for ill, yes, I know. Start heating four of them. Nine. I... I'm happy to let their discontact rise just slightly more, just for the fact that I don't think there's an easy way for me to address that quite yet. No matter how much we might like, I think it is a little bit difficult for me to necessarily do quite yet. So that was the shot shelter. Yeah, sure, let's do it so that there's two of these medical posts right next to the shot uh, shelter as well. I think that should be fine. It's at least only slowly getting worse. Two requests ignored, I know. It's not nice of me, but... At least they are only chilly. They are not nearly as bad as they could be. <laughs> they are really low on food. Sure, we are trying to be getting this. Hunter's Hut's build. Livable. Well, I do have at least two of these that are bringing food quite nicely. Or are slowly working on that. I would really want this to be... I guess here I could at least increase the workships on these engineer places, to be honest. I just want the resources to be done a little bit quicker. This isn't still done yet, which I don't love. So, yes, I'd love that to be a little bit quicker. Health girl promise at least is fulfilled. You help the sick. They are, they and their families are grateful. Hope rises. Just a little bit. Three sick absences is not favorable, of course. I don't have a lot of extra workers, of course, at the moment, anyways. I'm really low on food. But, uh, of course, it's pretty understandable even at this moment, I'd say. Well, let's go forward for a moment. 